Let's make our blocks drop something when we mine it. Let's see how to do that. The way we can add a drops to our blocks is actually fairly straightforward. We need loot tables. Now loot tables can go from really easy to really complicated very quickly, but we're going to implement some fairly easy to understand block loot tables for the time being. And for that, we need a new folder. So inside of our resources folder, right click new directory, called data and inside of there right click new directory and then our mod ID so tutorial mod making sure that this is written correctly and then right click again and then making loot underscore tables also making sure that this is written correctly and then in there we're going to have blocks this time with an s very important now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually copy over the easy loot table and the and then the more complex one we're going to go through in just a moment so this is the titanium block loot table and as you can see it actually looks fairly straightforward first of all we have a loot table type there are different types there are also treasure chests and mob loot tables of course as well but this is of course a block type because this is a loot table for a block. We have different pools, which is basically picks from to what to drop there. And in here we have one roll. So this one is rolled once. And then one of the entries is chosen. Once again, we only have one entry. We could also have multiple entries. And then one of those is chosen at random. Or we could also add some sort of weight to it. So that, for example, one entry might be chosen more often than the other. At the end, I will also show you a great resource to take a look at in order to understand this a little bit better. However, before we take a look at that resource, we actually going to take a look at the external libraries down here. We're going to expand that and go down all the way to net Minecraft client extra 171 or whatever the version might be. And then here you have the data folder and in here everything is in from vanilla. So all of the vanilla loot tables are actually in here as you can see. So if you're like, well, how how does that work, right? How, how does, you know, the oak button drop? Well, this is how the oak button drops, for example. Now what we're going to take a look at is actually we're going to take a look at iron ore. Now we can actually take deep slate iron ore that's not an issue so if we take a look at that block you can see that it actually has a lot of stuff in it so first of all we only have one pool and we also only have one entry there are however as you can see this is a type alternative so this is what i meant with you know they can go into very very complex territory very quickly because here of course as you can see if you have silk touch then the actual block itself drops and if you don't have that then in this case raw iron drops so what we are going to do is we're basically just going to select all of this and copy this over and then go back into our own data folder and make a new file here which is going to be the ti titanium underscore or dot json once again of course this has to match the name of your block that's very important and we'll simply paste that in here and then we'll change this right here to tutorial mod colon titanium underscore or and then down here we're going to change this to raw titanium don't forget to change the mod id here as well this is something that is often forgotten you always have to make sure that here the mod id is changed as well right and if you don't have raw titanium by the way this is how it actually looks so this was uh, something that you should implement yourself you can also of course drop something else for the time being just as a test basically that's basically two of the loot tables and of course all of the other vanilla loot tables are available down here so if you really want to know how something works you can always take a look at those and copy those over for example however that's also two great reasons sources one of them is the loot table article on the fandom minecraft wiki which has the loot table defined here as well so you can see every single part that you can basically add in there is once again explained here and then there's also the data pack generator from misode github io which has a loot table generator where you can basically click and add some stuff in here so for example if you don't want the stone to drop you can also say tutorial mod colon and then say titanium underscore block for example and then this changes to whatever you have as well so even though it's going to say hey that's an invalid option well of course it's it doesn't know that your mod is there but you can use that as well so those links are both in the description below right and after having added all of that let's see if it works all right we found ourselves in minecraft and let's see so if i go into survival and i start hacking away at this so this is going to take a little bit of time i'm going to cut to the chase and there you go, the block actually dropped. Now, the reason, of course, this takes so long is because we set the hardness to 12, I think it was. So it is actually quite high. Now, let's do the same for the ore. Once again, cutting to the chase. And the ore also drops the raw raw titanium as well. There you go. First of all, the question is, why does it take so long, even with the nether, right? And second of all, what happens if I now take a shovel and mine that as well? What happens now? You might say to yourself, of course, this isn't going to work. However, you would be wrong. And how to fix that? 
we're going to see now, right? Because the issue is that starting in 117, both the requirement for what tool type you have to use as well as what level of tool you need to use is handled by tags. So we are going to be talking about tags in a later tutorial as well in a little bit more in depth. However, for the time being in our data folder, right click new directory called Minecraft, very important that this is written correctly. And then once again, a new directory called tags. And in that directory, we're going to have a directory called blocks. And then in that directory, one last one, which is going to be the mineable. So those are going to have four different JSON files, axe.json. And I'm going to copy over the well insides of this. So this is how a tag JSON looks like. And you would simply add stuff in here. So for example, tutorial mod colon, and then for example, the titanium underscore or if that was mineable with the axe, then you would simply put it in here. And you can add more blocks as well, of course. However, of course, the axe is not what we want. We can copy this by simply dragging it into the same folder while holding control. And then we can have the big axe, for example. And this is where we would want to add our own stuff here. So tutorial mod colon titanium underscore or. And then we're simply going to add another one. So let's just copy this control C control V twice. There you go. And then this is going to be titanium underscore block as well. So those two are now added or the pickaxe. So this will basically be able to bind by the pickaxe. We can also add the other stuff. So this would be the shovel.json. And then we'll also add the o.json as well. Right. And we can also take a look at that in the external libraries, net Minecraft client. Once again, there you can see in the data folder, Minecraft tags, blocks and mineable. We have those for JSON files to specify what tool level you need. You can see it has needs diamond tool, needs iron tool or needs stone tool. If you don't add that, then it could also be mined by wood. So we can also add that. So we can simply add a new file and call this needs underscore iron underscore tool dot JSON. And because once again, this is a tag file, we can simply copy the contents of this. And then we can simply copy both of those in there. If we, for example, say, hey, we're going to need at least an iron tool for this. And then everything above will also work. Right. And then crazily enough, there is one more modification that we need to do in the mod blocks class. And that is going to be, we're going to add a, another property here. And that is going to be basically after the strength here, just a dot. And then this basically is the requires correct tool for drops. This actually has to be called on all blocks if you want the, you know, certain, the certain tool level to be applied. I still am not sure why this is not set basically as default, but that's just how it's going to be. So call the requires correct tool for drops method on all of your blocks. And now let's see if it works, right? We find ourselves in Minecraft. And as you can see, first of all, the thing works way faster, as you can clearly tell, and everything seems to be working. If I now try to use the shovel, you can see that it's, it's going to take forever, as you can clearly tell. I mean, this is like not even worth doing. And then if I take the wooden pick, the same thing applies. It will take forever. However, through the power of editing, we can see that it doesn't drop anything because of course we need at least iron tools for these to drop. Right. And that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like, and I will see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.